Today, I'm going to a video shoot, and before I do that, I wanna show you what's in my camera bag. This is the Brevity Jumper in large, and it's a minimalistic bag, great for travel. Suitcase, passport, and side access. Whoa, whoa, check that out. This is an anti-theft, anti-lock mechanism right here. You see, you just slide it through, and now you can open it, access to your camera gear. This is the Sony a7 IV with 16 to 35 lens. And let's show you the rest of the gear. Same thing over here. We've got protection on this side as well. Before we look at the rest of the camera gear, let's take a look at the front pocket. This is where your accessories go. There are four main pockets. This one I have just a bunch of batteries. This one, audio recorder, battery pack. It doesn't offer the most organization and just keep in mind, this is a minimalistic type of bag. This bag comes in large, however, it's not big and bulky. Now let's take a look at the main compartment. So if you wanna know how deep this goes, this is the four inch lens, the Sigma 28 to 70 F 2.8. You can easily fit another one here and here for a total of four lenses. And from my understanding, why this is considered large is the depth. You can put a much longer lens this way. A 70 to 200 F 2.8 will easily fit in this bag. However, standing wise, you wanna keep it, I would say four and a half inch tops. Otherwise, you'll have a problem closing and zipping. And in case you need to know the rest of the items, this is an audio recorder. It's actually my second, the primary one I'm using on my body. Tascam DR10L, and this is a dongle for my MacBook and a hard drive to keep the data. And lastly, over here is just wireless internet on the go. And there's more to my gear. However, I briefly want to show you how I access my gear. It's sideways, very convenient. And that's it. That is real time. I'm ready to go. All right, now if I have to do a lens change, I'll just open this up right here. I'll do it all right here. You see that, it's just sitting in there. Pop it out. Put away the lens. Now we can get back and see what else is in the bag. Here we go. Got an Insta360 and pull, a blower. And this top pouch is really handy. I've got a power bank and a power cord. By the way, I'm digging this rainproof zipper. Here is the laptop. It sits way deep inside because it's just too small. This is the 13 inch MacBook Air M1. It is way too small for this backpack or let's rephrase that. This backpack can fit a much larger package. Just so you get an idea, Check this out. This stick right here, it's long. And I'm gonna poke it in. And it goes all the way and it zips up. As you can see, this thing is big and long and it was easily able to fit my son's 17 inch Dell laptop, which is ginormous. Enough with the big bag. Now let's take a look at the small bag. Aside from the Peak Design capture clip, I have a small little camera pouch. This is my phone, the iPhone 13 mini. I'm not a big phone user, so this will do. It has great battery life, and in case I don't have enough, here is a MagSafe charger. Then I can just pop to the back, and there you go. I am charging. Over here, I've got my bank cards and money as well as uh, AirPods in case I edit on the go and I will be editing on the go. I don't wanna be bothered at home. 
And that is it for my minimalistic kit. I no longer have the A7S III. I sold it in preparation for the FX30. However, that didn't pan out the way I thought it would. And more on that on a future video. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.